Hey what's up, it's Chris from Brooker Films and in today's video I'm going to show you how to generate gradient text inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So once you've launched up Adobe Premiere Pro and you have your composition ready to go, we need to generate a new text. So we'll go up to File, New, Legacy Title and inside of Legacy Title we want to generate some text and we want to increase the size of this. Now once you're happy with that we can exit the title window and we can drag this new title over onto our composition. From here you want to go over to the effects tab on the left and we're going to search for gradients and when you find four color gradients in the effects tab you want to drag four color gradients onto your text layer. Now when you drag this on you will see this gradient does appear and this looks really awesome we have this orange pink blue green gradient going on but if we want to customize this then all we need to do is go over to each one of these different color boxes we've got color one two three and four and just change the color of each one of these settings. Now once you've gone through and chose all of the different colors that you want to feature in this gradient we can go down to blend and if we increase blend then that's just going to blur all of those colors together to make it look like a seamless gradient but if we pull this down to five then you can visibly see all four different colors in each corner of the text. Now moving on we have blending mode and this will be set to non by default but you can change this to add more diversity to your gradient effect. Each different blending mode in this tab will give you a different result. So take your time, go through all of these blending modes and choose a blending mode that works for you. But for now, I'm just gonna keep this to none because I like the intensity of no blending modes. And there you go. That is how you generate gradient text inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe by pressing that circle icon up there. And also, don't forget to check out the previous video by clicking this rectangle icon just down here.